last week where we were talking about guides and seats. This week we're going to show you a little bit more in depth on a finished head. So if you pop in here, Stephen, what we've got is 3731 Clubman race head and a 3630 road competition head. Right, what you'll see here is now, this is a finished head that we've just took the valves out of and you'll see the valve seats that we showed you last week. You can see the 60 down the inside, which we leave on the road heads. There's the 45 degree seat, which is now gray because the valve has been lapped into it. And you'll see the 15 degree top seat angle is completely missing because the chamber has been polished and that gets rid of the top angle. So still three seats there, but the top one is invisible because it's been polished. On a race head, we actually polish the throat out on the inside as well. So that is the angle, the 60 degree angle just there. You can see it's got slight different finish compared to the rest of the port. Then your 45 degree seat and your 15 degree angle on the inside is blended into the chamber so you can't see it. So that's basically a valve seat when it's finished. Totally symmetrical, same width seat all the way round and same width seat at the top because the top angle is blended in to the chamber on both inlet and exhaust. This is nowhere near finished, it's just been started. And if you come to this chamber here, Stephen, this is a standard 12G940 head which normally has a 33 mil valve. So basically from there to there. And we've cut this seat out to take our big 38 millimeter valve. Now I've put some marking blue, engineer's blue on the valve and just lapped it into the seat. So you can see this is where the new valve seat will be. This is where the new valve seat will be on the exhaust, which is 31. But if you try and look down here, Stephen, you'll see there's a piece of cast iron been inserted and it's got a hole for the valve guide which is offset. That is so we can get a bigger inlet in without fouling on the exhaust and then we can get a bigger exhaust in by moving it over. So there's the sleeve in the bottom there. The exhaust valve guide has been moved that way by a millimeter to get the big valve in. Now, if you remember last week, we showed you about machining the platforms down so they're all at the same height to get the valve tension correct. You'll notice now on this one, the sleeve is slightly higher than the original platform. So when we take the guide out, when we finish doing the porting, we will actually put the pilot in there with the three blade cutter on and we will cut this down along with this to the desired height. So then everything will be back to symmetrical. Let's just go back to the race head on this side. What you'll notice now is, we'll just turn this one round, just the other way. Again, you'll see all the spring seats have been cut. And what we'll do then is, before it's assembled, which has already obviously been done, we would actually put a valve in like so, with a valve cap and a pair of collets. We would then tap that down so it's seated. Then your valve spring fitted length would be measured from the spring seat there to the inside face of the valve cap. And that is what we call the fitted length of the valve spring. So in other words, when it's actually in place as this one, that is the fitted length of the spring. Now, if you find your fitted length is too long, then obviously we keep shims to go onto the spring platform to get it correct. That must be done to get the right tension on the springs for the application being used. Hope that helps.